How's it going guys, Spencer from Berkshire Bass here back with another product spotlight. Today guys, we're gonna be talking about the Mega Bass Jamaica Boa Buzzbait. Really cool looking buzzbait for Mega Bass. My favorite time to throw a buzzbait is when you got a little bit of wind, low light conditions, early in the morning, later in the evening, and when you ever feel like there's a good top water bite, especially after mid-May, there probably is a good top water bite going on, guys. But the cool thing about the buzz bait that I've noticed fishing it, it's kind of a big bass bait for me. Um, if it's super slick, calm conditions, and I'm looking to get bites, fill that live well up quick, quick I'm going to pick up the Pot Max, or I'm going to pick up a KVD Strike King, or a KVD Sexy Dog. But if I'm looking to get that big, big bite, I'm going to pick up this all black buzz bait. The thing that's a little unique with me and the buzzbait, you'll see guys throw trailers on them and that's great. Um, but with this Jamaica Boa, they kind of have this built-in trailer. They do the same thing on their spinner baits. I'm actually not going to throw a trailer on this one, guys. Um, I feel like I had get a better hookup ratio, a little more confident for me in that. Um, and it still casts great and it still moves a lot of water. Um, but not really a great buzzbaiting day today. We're kind of midday, high sun, not much wind. But we got a little ripple on the water, see if we catch one, see if we move one on this buzz bait. But the big thing, guys, with me and the buzz bait, guys, is where you're throwing this thing. You're gonna wanna target, obviously, shallow water cover, whether it's that big lay downs, you know, big grass flats, any kind of point that these fish will move up on and feed on. Oh, that's a bird up there, but anytime past mid-May, guys, I'm gonna have this buzz bait tied on. I like to pair it up with a real heavy rod just so I can really drive that hook in. And like I said, I'm usually fishing around pretty heavy stuff. So I don't wanna be, you know, underpowered around these big large mouths. Um, so I pair it up with a duck, Ducket Micro Magic, seven six heavy rod, 30 pound Cortland Master Braid. I like that 30 pound because of the castability. Yeah, something I've noticed guys guiding a lot, especially with these buzz baits and these spinner baits is I'll have a lot of people out on the boat and we're throwing a buzz bait early or we're throwing a spinner bait down a grass line or something, is they're letting that bait sink too much throughout the cast. So you'll see on a couple of casts here that I'm pretty much closing that bale right before that bait hits the water and I'm starting that treve immediately. What that does is it maximizes, maximizes your cast. See that? And what it does is doesn't let that thing sink, get any grass on it and ruin your whole cast because you want that buzz bait cranking as fast as you can when that bait hits the water because a lot of times with these top water bites you're going to get your bite in the first couple pumps of the cast guys because these fish are not pressured you're not right on top of them and you want to make that big long cast with this buzz bait and any other top water you're throwing all right guys well i hope you guys gained some insight here on this mega bass jamaica boas buzz bait Super awesome, big bass bait all summer long, low light conditions, early in the morning, later in the evening. Roll this thing around grass flats, around timber, around docks. When you think there's a top water bite going on, especially in the summer, there probably is. You might catch your biggest bass of the summer on this thing.